Hello Gallop Racer fans, welcome Basic Army and welcome back to another Gallop Racer episode. Today I'm going to try and make as much progress as we can. I went through off camera and booked most of our horses into races, including which casualize in a group three. A little bit of step up in class and a little bit out of his distance, but we don't know anything else about him, so why not? If he doesn't put in a good performance, we'll put him back in his rightful place, but I have no idea how good this horse is going to be. He's got good odds in his first two starts, so it's a little insight. Maybe he's good, but we'll wait and see how we go. We do get a perfect start here with him, so that's a good start. Um, last start, we had a perfect start as well, and then we dropped him back, and he did not like that. So we're going to try and lead here today. Got a little bit of pressure on the inside. I don't understand why he would be a like leader, but at this point in the game, I'm willing to try something different. If we, if we don't win because of it, then so be it. I guess that's the only bone to pick I have with this game, is like the original system. It's in a way like we're a champion jockey and we're still learning about different horses, you know? Got a huge break on the field here. Let's just see if it's enough to get him home. I'm going to change whip hand and see if that helps him with his cornering. Here comes the seven. Huge amount of race left to run. Seven still coming, fighting. Half of the furlong left. It's going to come down to the wire. Three, two, one. We're going to hold on. Oh, that's a breath of fresh air. I honestly thought we were going to drop out there late. But casual eyes holds on at the wire and wins his second race. First group three. <sighs> He's not very fast. A little bit worrying, that's for sure. So, positioning was off, okay, but what? We got a perfect start and our positioning was off, so no, he's not a front runner? He's a front runner. What? We're not putting you back in the sprint trip. We're going to put you in an open class event until we work you out a bit more. You are confusing me, buddy. Anyway, we're going to go through here and book the rest of our horses. Um, we're going to try Leah in the Super Mile Cup. I feel like she's a chance in that race. I'd like her to win it, but no big deal if she can't. Might be a little bit above her pay grade. As for you, my good sir. Um, we're going to put you in an open because if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if we mess up with you, we lose you. And I'm really not about that. Here we go. Six furlongs in the turf. <laughs> but yeah, so huge week this week. We have a lot of runs. Just having a look through, making sure that none of our horses are double booked. Lovely. So we're just going to jump through here. And a contest coming in from Wild Song. Yeah, you know what? Speeding Post can cover that pretty easily, I reckon. We do start off with Monsoon Season. Looking for a first win. As you can see here, I changed her tack. She looks wonderful. She's roaring, ready to go. Let's do it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, with the stats, it's fun at the start of the game to like have to unlock the horse's ability because you don't know much about them and that type of thing. I get that, that's cool. But the part of the game that I don't understand is the fact that later on down the track, like the point we are now, we're no longer an apprentice jockey. We've won the Jockey of the Year title multiple times. We've won the Grand Jockey title. We've won the Gallup World Series jockey. And yet we still have to research our horses to figure them out. Like I'd understand a couple of starts, like one or two, just to get the bearings on like everything. I would like I'd probably miss like distances and growth type because obviously you don't really know what a horse can run until you sort of run them in that distance, you know. But everything else, I feel like you should know that. Just a personal thing for me. Like we've done all that work, we've had a huge like career so far like we would have learned so much 
Huge runoff here from Monsoon Season. We are the long shot in the field, but here comes the field now. Here comes the two, the favorite. Absolutely flying. We over whip. We're going to drop out a little bit. That's going to be my fault. We still are in second. We're just going to sit here. And that's a huge performance from Monsoon Season. Third place. We were meant to finish last. I don't know, we're meant to finish 8th, but either way, that's still a very good performance. S start and S positioning. So, I'm guessing the start was what cost us, so she's a proceeder. Interesting. This for Fairy Show? Looks like a pretty easy field. Like, I don't see why we're not favourite. I think we should be favourite. Like, I remember when I got this horse on my old file, and that's why I knew to grab him. Because I got him from Cook. So at that point, I was only trying to mend my relationships with Cook. Because I needed to mend it before she brought a horse into the store. I can't remember what horse it was. It was one of my own originals. But anyway, busted my butt. And then she goes, oh, I have a debut horse for you. And then... I get to the July, June, July, yeah, the July sales as I have a look at my horse list and I see this horse. So I'm like, this horse ain't any good. But at that time, I didn't have that many horses. So I was like, oh, it's a late growth. I'll see how he develops. And then worst case scenario, I'll chuck him in the breeding barn. Never end up breeding with him because I took too long and I stopped playing that safe file. But his racing career really impressed me, so. Hopefully this time around we get him into the stud barn and we just breed that long, nice, late type through. And he won that easy. Like I said, should have been favourite. But yeah, so good little handy horse to pick up. He's not a super champion at the start of his career. He's one of those horses you sort of build a relationship with and he picks his feet up every time and just gives a little bit more each and every start. So you cannot hate on a horse that gives his all like that and he's still improving like he's got years left so really excited for that as for leah here she's nearing a peak as you can see here she's got some really good characteristics about her and far midnight though is the favorite very strong horse we're really gonna have to hope that we run this race perfect and that he tires Otherwise, we're probably just going to run money. Either way, it would be a good finish if you can finish, finish in the money. It's a good start as well. We're just going to grab hold of her because we don't want to go in too far forward. And like wasting too much energy trying to pull back late. That's a really good position. I'm happy with that. So let's go. Hopefully you guys are really happy with the progress I'm making as well. And like I know that I'm not like a robot I do make mistakes I do run races backwards and sometimes cost us like results and that type of thing but at the end of the day hopefully most of the decisions I've made and like the races I've won and whatnot have been exciting been appetizing for the like playthrough and that type of thing so as long as you keep coming back enjoying the content that's all I really care about nobody's perfect we all make mistakes I just don't want to make too many mistakes that can hugely impact us, you know? Uh, we're going to get going now. Probably a little bit late, but better late than never. So hoping to get stretch burst and that far reason would drop out, but we do get stretch burst. We do get into the money. Not a bad performance there from Leah. We'll take it. A third position. Going to be very hard to win the Gallup World Series. So there's so many strong performing horses in this year. Like you've got Far Reason, you've got Wonderwell. Which is astronomical. But we're here again on Spinning Post, my girl. Everyone knows she's like one of my favorite horses. I can't talk her up enough. But hopefully today she lets the race track and her racings do the talking for her, you know. 
perfect start. I don't get super cocky very often, but this race is over. If we don't get contested up front, this is a win. So far, so good. The 9 and the 7 are deciding, oh, I want a piece of the action. Little do they know that I don't want them up here. Go away. No. Bad. Stop. No need to come near me. There you go. You learnt your lesson. You're not leading. Right. They've finally left us alone. I don't understand that sometimes. Like, I don't understand if they had like a perfect start and we're neck and neck into the first corner. But as you're flying down the back straight, my guy, just grab hold, settle in behind. You're, fit, you're running the money if you set my tail. But now you're probably going to tail off and finish eight, nine lengths off the field, you know? Not worth it. And you probably cost me my race. You know, just little things like that. Let's swing out a little bit here. She's kicking off corner lead up Crocs. Here comes Wild Song. Fair long left to run. We are still in front. It's gonna come down to the wire. Half a fair long left to run. Wild Song on our inside. Spinning post out in front. The wire's gonna be our friend. Yes, it is. Not the easiest front running performance, but nonetheless, spinning post makes us proud. Another huge group one win for spinning post. You can't be mad at her. She always gives her all. I've let her down a couple of times not getting her a perfect start. And like a couple of times the AI have been real cruel to her and contest her for miles and miles. But as you can see here, nice. We would definitely take that. Any chance we get to get a good performance, got to take it. An electric arrow, win or place in the platinum. Legal station. Decent horse, that's for sure. This was the other race I was sort of contemplating between racing and um, Lirin because she can run to 10 furlongs, but she can't run to 12. So that's why I went with the sprint category as well because there's more sprint races than there are the 10 furlong turf races. So my thinking and my thought progress like behind it was if I can win two of the sprint races that puts her in a really strong position to have other horses winning the other races and she might just sneak a win because she's a solid horse she's definitely got the ability to win it but there are also a bunch of superstar horses like she is a star and they're superstars it's just how it is like she's doing amazing for us i can't fault her so don't get me wrong but as you saw five midnight stats in that race like 99 speed ran out of position and still flew home, you know. I probably went a bit too late on the um, spurt, but I don't think it would have made a world of difference. So. And just little things like that about her, like she has stretch burst in close race, not good. If you get the wrong one to proc at the wrong time, it can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing a race. It hasn't affected us super amounts of times like we've won a couple of races where it's still procced which is good but also you don't want it to be that ability that ruins a super horse as well but anyway we've got the straight here to go with electric arrow and the favorite is in no man's land so we're just gonna give him a couple of taps up we'll get the grit to proc that's awesome hit the straight legal station nowhere to be seen let's see if we can build up down the outside Still not showing any late burst of courage. Electric Area's got this race parceled up as we come to the post. The late run's coming, but it's way too late, and Electric Area wins the Platinum. Good performance, didn't have to do much work, just sat back, relaxed, and worked home when he needed to. This will be our answer to fixing the close race not good as well, because he has that close race okay. So we need to make sure we get as many good performances with Electric Arrow as we can. And that's a definite good way to start it. As you can see here, pretty successful week. Nothing out of top three. And as you can see the tail, so 
Wonder Whale Smoking Harbour, Lemon Salon, like just a heap of solid horses we've got to try and work around this year. No, no doubt we could do it. It's just a matter of getting her in the right races. So I'm just going to have a look through. I saw that we had a horse up. Electric Arrow, you just raced my guy. You can have some time off until your next task. Um, Fairy Show, your next task is going to be the group one. I want you to win your first group one. You deserve it. There you go, because it's in your wheelhouse as well. As for you, you can also enter a group one. Just a matter of time when. I want to give you a little bit of break though as well. There we go. LA Turf. Perfect. Um, Red Lady, you're still booked there. You're booked there. You are getting moved. What are you? Yeah, you're 7 to 10. I mean, Sydney will be perfect for you, I think. And now, Red Emerald. As you can see here, we ran second in the diamond. So he can also enter the turf scene. Put you in the Paris Cup. Why not? Uh, you can keep progressing. Eyes of Leah. You want to? No, you can't run the princess. Sorry, Dom. London Mile is your next task. Awesome. Split effort. You aren't up for a couple of weeks. These are all booked. You're just making sure. Did we learn anything about you? So not much speed, okay, let's call it a grit, slow track, okay, a lot of good abilities here for Monsoon. Wants to run over the 10. Hmm, I feel like a Harvard might be a good type of race for you. You're ready to go and you're not racing until then. Awesome, all of our horses are booked pretty much. Jumping in here, we've just got the Colorado, which is Rebirth. <sighs> Huge race today. It's probably the most meaningful race of our career we're not doing a challenge if we lose this race we lose rebirth and i could not live with myself knowing that i was the reason we lost him he's the mascot of our channel he's from our girl root angel and we need him for breeding if we can win this race we can just package him up Ship him off to next year and worry about him then. Not a perfect start. But luckily enough, not a lot of pressure here from any other horse. So we do find the front. That was a very fast sectional too. We're just gonna have to go as late as we can. Yeah, he has the speed. We do get the uh, second bazooka as well. No, come on boy. Today's the day, we need you to step up. We need you to finish strong. We're gonna go now. We've got a good run off that corner. We've got heaps of stamina to play with. Kick you, good thing, get up. Long left to run, rebirth. Come on, boy. Today's the day. Gonna bounce back for us. And we got it. We don't lose him. We handled the pressure. Rebirth ran the race of his life. Getting up to win. The world off our shoulders. We keep him around in a very solid time, too. 165. Not record material, but definitely a good win. Oh, we don't have to stress about losing him. I was so worried. You guys have no idea. Had a couple of bad performances with him. And they were my fault. Just couldn't get the perfect start. Yes, I've heard of it like 4,000 times. Did you guys know that if you go into here, you can go skip? I thought like it meant, but you can go WJS and you just do that. And that means... They're not going to annoy us with that silly question they have asked every week, you know? Which is great. Just making sure that they haven't entered any of our horses. I know it takes a little bit more time and I'd rather be just courteous. It's, we've lost, well, we didn't lose, but we missed one race once upon a time. 
I'm pretty sure it was with Crimson Prince. Um, well, I literally just said I don't want to race you again for a while because I don't want to lose you. What does that game do? Oh, let's just put you in another race. How far can I put you? That's a perfect race for you, actually. Seven furlongs. Cool. Do we have um, split effort on debut? Ideally, we should be able to win this race, but he's not really my pick of like double S ranked horses. Like, I'm happy with that we got a good horse for our effort, but look at all them negative abilities. Bears come come back not good and tight not good. So tight not good means any sharp cornered courses he's not going to do well on come back not good so if you give him a couple of weeks off he's going to come back and have a bad performance compared to being able to just like perform at his normal level and bears is just terrible pretty much anytime any race no reason carry on like a wild goose so they're not really abilities you can sort of avoid either they're just abilities that can happen for no reason and i don't like that and i don't want to pass that on to my foals so we'll race him he'll be like our pocket horse just to get some races done with to increase our relationships with a certain trainer but otherwise really don't care for him i'm sorry if he's your favorite horse but i will not be breeding with him i just can't risk ruining bloodlines because of a horse that has negative abilities like they, he might be the type of side that doesn't pass on all of his abilities but in the case that he is that horse i just can't risk it like he has a good combo in from the outside and um what was the other ability i can't remember he has one more good ability but yeah But otherwise, I just don't want to take that risk. Oh yeah, strong heart into from the outside, but it doesn't pop here. Furlong left to run 13, running us legless. We're gonna hit the front with about half a furlong left to run, and we're gonna win here pretty convincingly. Just an open event, so a double S horse should be able to handle that. But still a win nonetheless. Like, he could prove us wrong and, like, go and win every race of his career and give us no option to breed him, so. I would never say never, because we might have the space as well by then. That's another area to look out for as well. If we have the space in the barn, there's no point, like, not putting him in. We'll just see how we go. We've got casual eyes back up again. Looking for three in a row. A little bit close for comfort last time out. You never know, you never know. What's that? That's how you say it, isn't it? You don't know what you got till it's gone. Ooh, we're not the favourite here. Third pick of the market, so... Maybe a stronger field? No, not really. We'll just see how we go. I'm still confused by the fact that he's a front runner. No perfect start, which is probably going to hurt us. Oh, we've got Danger Mirror in this race as well, so it's a very strong field still. We're probably just going to run it the exact same as we ran that last race. Just go early, put a little pr a pressure. What are you doing, dude? Knock down Gale. Another horse I've never heard of. <laughs> but yeah, we're pretty much just trying to get as far out in front of the field as we can. We're going to have a heap of stamina, hopefully, because his bar was pretty full last time and we're running at a better distance that suits him. Yeah, that's about the same, actually. Maybe he doesn't have that much stamina. Who knows? Alright, we're going to go. No point waiting. And we do get a special kind of revolution that's not really a revolution, but we are flying around this corner. Got a bit of a break on the field, but here comes the field. Still a lot of race left to run. Furlong left now. Can he find for three in a row? Here comes the field. He's going to run out of stamina. 
Did we go a little bit too early? Goes wild on the line. Give me a left tap. And we still win. I mean, we won. It wasn't pretty, but we got over the line. Casual Lies wins his third race in a row. Hmm. I don't know what to feel about this horse, if I'm being honest. Another one of those situational horses, you know? We do have Leah back up. She, she hits 90, guys. She is insane. Don't know what that top ability is, so. Could be. What did she buy? She's by Fast Navy and. Yeah, she could be Closer. But how. I can't remember exactly. I'm gonna just do a little bit of research. Academy. Ah, uh, help. Here we go. Um, Closer. Excellent at passing the lead horse close to the final corner. So pretty much it's like a last corner leader, but not at the same time. So on straight courses, it does nothing, is what I'm pretty much finding out. Cool. So we have to try and activate that. I feel like she's got it. We have a third pick here, so better odds. Having a look through the field here, I'm not really seeing any royal charm. Like, I feel like we are better than these two horses. Like, they've got more stamina, but speed-wise, we match them for motors, you know? I don't see any reason why we don't win this race, you know? The horses are on the track. It'd be a huge win if she does. It would be our first double S-ranked horse. It could just be amazing, you know? Good start, too. Not overly fast out, but we don't really need to be. We are on the complete outside too, so we don't have to move. We can just relax. Not that it matters, but we're on a straight course, so you don't have to move at all. But we don't want to go as late as we did last time, though. That was probably a mistake on my behalf. But at the same time, I was trying to activate stretch burst, which we did activate, and we did run third. So we met our goal. So it's catch 22. You go later, you get stretch burst, and you don't win the race, you look like a fool. You go early, you get close race, not good, and then you look like a fool. So it's an uphill battle. Just having a quick look around to see what I'm going to try and do here. I mean, we got a really good spurt off here. We are out in front, but here comes the favourite. It's going to be a close race, that's for sure. So the ability is definitely going to pop here, but are we going to be strong enough to hold on? Here comes the ability. The line is coming. It's going to be close. Uh, I think we just got pipped. Oh, that's so close. Unlucky. Uh, we lost by a nose. She's so close too, that's the thing. Like She's not even that far away when it comes to winning. As for spinning post, she's starting to respect her in the market. It's about time, I tell you. The horses are on the track. Like, she's a good horse. Game, give her some respect. No perfect start again, so a little bit of work cut out for us, but I mean, no one's contesting us for the lead, so we can pretty much slow the pace down as much as we want, which we didn't get the opportunity to do last time. Yep, I'm happy with that. Give her a little bit more, just so they don't get too close, because we don't want the hates pack to pop. That will ruin our run. There we go. Perfect. What do you guys think of me starting a Galbraiser 2001 playthrough? 
was watching um, Horse Racing Gamer today, and he is in year four or eight or something. I think it's eight. I'm not sure actually. Pretty sure it's eight. And um, I really want to give it a go, another go. I played it when I was younger. It was the first Gallop Racer game I played on the PS2. My first ever Gallop Racer game was all the way back when I was a kid on the PS1, the original Gallop Racer. Um, my dad used to play it when he looked after me when I was a baby. He used to sit me on his lap and play it. That's where I sort of got into it. So that's where all my racing background came from. My dad has horses, he trains um, harness racing horses, so I've always been around the racing community, so I've always loved horse racing games. Still out in front here, I don't see this getting beat. We are slowly dropping, but we're still going to win the race pretty easily. She's just so easy to ride, like we didn't do everything perfect there, but we did everything enough for her to just do the work, you know? Just love her. But yeah, so let me know. I'd be interested to try it because like the whole mechanic behind like training your own horses and like only having six horses in the barn like time wise I feel like we'd get a lot more progress but obviously it wouldn't fully overtake as Leah moves into second tie so she's definitely a chance to win the sprint category <sighs> we just need to win one race with her that's all we need Okay, well, Mile, she's not ready to go. Or we wait to here and risk it. I think we've got a runner here. Like, I don't understand why it takes us so long to get back in the um, blue. Because, like, that's three weeks away. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, you got you up in the Harvard, but we already have a horse in that race. So we're just going to push you back. Okay, you're getting cranky. We'll put you in the bush. Just because I don't really want to race you right now. You're good. Are you good? Yep. Uh, you're not. You don't need to be in here. You can be in there. What else did we learn about you? So 72 stamina. So he has stamina. But not much else. Brains? Hardly. And that's pretty much all of our horses. Now we'll just go through and make sure that we're not missing anyone else. Hard field here, for sure. Crimson Prince up in a, another Group 1, so... Looking for a back-to-back -back performance. He's been doing really well for us as well. This is a hard race. Holy moly. Why there's so many races? <laughs> See, okay, we finally got through it. We're happy. I'm happy. Let's go. Yeah, we'll take on the challenge. Crimson Prince should be able to outperform this field again. He did it last time. It was pretty exciting that race, you know. Not bad odds here for Monsoon Season either. So maybe it's a sh like a sign of things to come. I wonder what her stamina is. Rough Bird is the favourite as well, so. I wouldn't mind winning this race. How do you feel about it, Season? Oh, well, Perfect Start says, let's do it. Another weird growth type. Front Runner and Proceeder in the one. I, I don't get our horses, you know. They just do their own thing. Like, I reckon we could breed a trailer. Complete trailer with another trailer and we'll get a front runner at this at this rate. Like it's just crazy. Cause you never know. We're in a handy spot, that's for sure. I wonder if um Monsoon has um Southpaw. She looks like she has a lot of abilities, but I'm not quite sure which ones she has and which ones she doesn't. Yep. Okay, this is where the race won. I'm 
mean, these horses are really racing this weird, in my opinion. But anyway, time to go. No revolution, but we are kicking off here pretty strong, swinging wide. Last corner leader, nice ability. Let's go. Furlong to run, Monsoon season. We are in front. Here comes the field, half a furlong, the tenth flying. Come on, girl, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's close. Did she get a first win? Oh, you know that girl. Yes, she won. She got. A, she's got a maiden. Oh, nice. I'm so happy with that. She deserved that win. You love to see it. Only by nose, but that's all it needs to be. It's a breath of like fresh air. I thought we went a little bit too early, and we were just slowly slowing down. But speaking of which, then another dark grey. Like, why couldn't we get lucky? Like, Crimson Prince, Grave Parade, and Green Earth. 83 speed from a Green Earth. And, like, we obviously didn't get the stamina. But, I'm just... We didn't get that close race, not good. I just don't understand how we didn't get it. Like, get it. I'm not complaining, because this means he's going to be really good for breeding. We can cross him with a lot of good fillies, and it'll be great. Nice little slow start, how he likes it. It's going to be a very speedy field, so we shouldn't have to do too much work at the gate, except for, for this hill, because, you know, flat track matters. Get that movement still trending. Uh, but we're in a pretty good spot so far. I can't really complain. But we know we're in another strong field, so there's no pressure. We'd love to win another group one. He's got the ability. We just got to race him right, you know. No revolution. I mean, no one really wants to go on this field, so we're going to take some initiative. We are out in front. The five is slowly making up some ground. Still fighting Hammer and Tong. We are the long shot in today's field. The wire is coming up, but is it going to be our friend? We're still in front by a nose. Here comes the five. It's going to be another photo finish. He held on. What a race. Crimson Prince, you jet. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Super, 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 super happy with that. Didn't think we were going to hold on. I thought Lemon Salon had enough to sort of out sprint us, but we were just too strong. He's making a super profile for himself. As for Big Show, on debut, um, as you can see here, second pick of the market, just a little tiny bit outside of her preferences racing distance-wise, but she's a pretty strong filly. She makes super fast babies if you can breed her with Wonder Wow, which we don't have the opportunity to do so, so we'll probably cross her with like a tender value or something and just go for a speed line. Perfect start, you'll love to see it. We're just gonna grab hold of her, let someone else lead. If anyone would like to lead. Front's yours. Now oh, we've got three front runners and none of them want the front, but when we're on a front runner. Oh sorry, that front's mine, you know. Uh this is the way the world ends. Anyway, we're able to settle in a comfortable position now. Um yeah, I didn't really think it was going to affect us too much because she does have that little bit of shade on that front runner position. Now it's just a matter of if we have enough stamina to get home. I feel like we should. We can just go late and sprint home. She's very fast. She's pretty confident with her abilities. So. No reason why we can't win this race. Green Chris was a strong horse, so... That's the only downside. Like, I'm not even trying to go yet. Here comes the field. Rain Crystal's on our booty. Here comes that speed. 
Gonna come down to the wire. We're dropping out. Why are we dropping out? No, green crystal, go away! Second place. I'm not quite sure why we weren't in revolution contention, like contention then. Like, I don't, I don't agree with that spurt at all. We have a horse that can't run the distance efficiently, so you go late, and we rocket it off the corner. We can go on the corner. Oh, well. We're in with the second pick in the market here today. Huge shed, social braid. Definitely deserves to be favorite. I'm yawning a little bit here, getting late. But I want to finish this episode out. I want to try and probably just record for an hour. We're 40 minutes in so far, so another 20 minutes won't kill me. And another perfect start. Kind of want to um, see if we can win another category with um, Leah. We probably won't get all the way through, but it's worth a crack. So many Crimson horses at the moment. Crimson Prince, Crimson Page, Crimson Onyx. It's like, have you guys noticed like in life when you buy something, all right, you buy something that you've never seen before, you don't see day to day, like cars, for example. I When I got my first car, it was like a bright yellow Lancer, right? Never saw a bright and yellow Lancer anywhere or any Lancers of that model anywhere, right? As soon as I bought one, I saw them everywhere. You just see them everywhere. I'm not sure if it's because your brain switches onto them a bit more. Okay, game. Or if, like, you just notice them a bit more, but yeah. Just something that happens. It's weird, but it does happen. Have you guys ever heard of this horse? I've never heard of this horse. He's looking through the field. No, it's just that horse is the only horse I really haven't seen before. Interesting. I can't remember if um, Bramwood has lost corner leader or not. Hmm. Be a little bit too late to find out now. Let's go, boy. Show us what you're made of. And just like that, he's gone bang like a rocket, firing in all different types of ways. Nine is giving us a little bit of a run for our money late. But I think it's a little bit too late. Are there's two favorites in this field? Interesting. I thought it was just one. I thought I was watching the wrong horse. Probably was watching the wrong horse, but that's all right. We won the group one. That's what you love to see. And Paris Cup is no easy feat as well. So a little bit of a big achievement, if that makes any sense. Solid week, win, win, second win. <laughs> and for far midnight did win, that makes it a bit difficult. So we pretty much have to win both of our next starts with Leah. Or place, which will give us six, will take us to 18 and then another place if we can avoid far mid up, but I don't know. Running Smile, the favorite here today. As you can see, it's very obvious why. As for Red Lady, I feel like she's just, again, fallen victim to me trying to get a group one with her. She's probably a group two horse, not quite group three, but she's had a fair amount of good performances in group ones to the point where you're like, oh, she's so close. I really want to get a one, you know? Like she deserves it. Like the efforts she's put in, she fights through the wire every time. I just can't get her over the line. Like every time we finally feel like she's about to break through with a group one win, you get a horse like Running Smile who's super, super fast and speedy and you just can't avoid him. 
she'll make for good breeding. The close race not good doesn't help, but that's a rose walk specialty. But she's done well for a rose walk foal though. Like speed wise, like, not very often you get speed out of a rose walk combo. So two sevens on the board here. Is it? Is today the day? I'm just gonna let her go. No revolution. We are out in front. Stamina is probably gonna be our biggest worry. Here comes the field. 13's flying. Half a furlong left. Four. Three. We did it! She won one! Red Lady, after what, 15 attempts? I don't know how many. She finally gets the first group one win. Well deserved, lady. Well deserved. Like she's been on the cusp of one for months and it's just a nice feeling to get through finally, you know? Ah, oh, that's a breath of fresh air. So we're gonna jump through to her. Where is she? She's gone up to an S-ranked horse as well. As you can see, growth type is nice, but for a rose walk, she's done well. Uh, the independent is a bit out of your league, girl, but if you want to race in it, sure, why not? I'm not going to stop you. Um, yeah, sure, we'll run you in the Empress. Eighty-three, like he's still improving. Like he's had four Group One wins, three in a row. Like he's just doing awesome for us. Hmm. He can run on the dirt, so. Now the mild champ would be perfect for him. Sydney, you're booked. You're having a little bit of a break. You're not racing for a while. You're up next week. You're not until then. You're up next week. You're having a little bit of a break. Philly Cup. Okay, we'll decide that one a little bit later. So close race is not good. That's not good. <laughs> but, so here we go. We do have layering bridge up. We did buy her for that particular reason as well. We want to see how we can go with her. What's her odds? Win or place? Okay. Nice. Got a couple of races this week as well. You can see here Wild Song. Ugh. Yeah, sure, we can beat you. No reason why we can't. Been a really good episode, I feel like. We are the favourite as well here, so. Big race of K and Spurt, so. Can do a little bit of work. Let's see how much. I'm really interested to see how breeding her goes. I've never bred her before. But she looked really interesting and like I'm not sure if it's like a hidden rule in the game or something but most of the better horses in the game that turn out to be really good in the breeding barn are the horses in the sales that other jockeys like your rival jockeys will come in and try and negotiate to take the horse away from you. I don't know it's just something that I've noticed. So far so good here, like pretty easily going. She seems lovely. Good nature. She seems like a very strong type of horse too. Good abilities. Nothing overboard, like she doesn't have like these bees of horse racing abilities, but 
I'll take that over having bad abilities any of these. That's for sure. Good little run off here too. Gonna come down to us and Newman. Newman's finding a lot more than we are. We're finally making a little bit of ground. Gonna come down to the Y yet again. Too many close finishes, but we are going to get up. Take that, Newman. Ha ha. Neener, neener, neener. And she gets a win on debut, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit her into like our schedule and whatnot. Like I'm probably just gonna keep racing her in races around about like the group stage, maybe a couple group ones every now and again, but I'll probably try and aim for the turf scene normal races with her as she likes to ride a bit of distance as well. Second pick up here again. We will definitely put him in a strong contention for the Turf World Series if we are able to win this. But can I get ahead of ourselves yet? The are on the track. We definitely have to follow up and get a win. The are in the gate. And another perfect start with Electric Arrow. I'm actually pretty excited for the Leah Cross Electric Arrow combo to see what we come out with. Get rid of that close race, not good. Because you can't have two of the same ability on the same horse. Like close race, not good, and close race, okay. So they counteract each other. That should leave stretch burst. Fingers crossed, that's the game plan anyway. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you can't really control too many things. Like you can breed certain horses together, you can breed different ability combinations, but like for the um, special abilities, like you can breed a stretch burst with stretch burst, but that doesn't make, guarantee you're going to get lightning speed, you know? If only this game was released in this generation, there'd be so much more information out there about what you need to do to unlock certain things and like what horses you need to breed together. Just how the world's changed. Like everything is out there on the internet these days. Except for that older content we're sort of looking for, you know? But that's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm glad that technology is still developing. Like I'm playing this game that was made back in 2003 on my PC. Like that's just cool to me. I mean, we are a fair way out in front, but we are losing stamina, so I'm just going to use the reins. Here comes the favourite. Coming out down the outside like a rocket. We're going to tie, aren't we? Yep. Ah. I hate the Sydney track, my guy. Absolutely hate it. It's one of the most frustrating tra like tracks you can think, like... Oh, double S, double S, positioning S. Huh? All because our spurt wasn't up to the standard. As you can see here, we tie first. Our two horses are tie first, so that's awesome. We can coordinate, they can both win. That's no issue whatsoever. But we've got to get a couple of wins, or at least a second earlier. So let's coordinate this, right? Rare Emerald, where are you? Right, so you need to run in a 10 fell on group 1. Yep, that's your last task, awesome. And now for Rare Emerald, we're going to change your star into your perfect. I'm going to run you in the Continental. So if we win both of those races, we should win the turf, so that's not an issue. But we've got to win both races for both of the horses, of course. Now, as for our other horses, um, Crimson Prince booked, you're booked, Leah here. We need to win this race here today. Big show, that's why you check. You're not even ready to go, girl. You can. You know what, yeah, you can race in that. Cool. 
Uh, these two might be the last two races of the episode as well, so hopefully we can get some good performances here. A little bit nervous about this one because it's a do or die race pretty much. We do avoid Wonder Whale though. That is good. We win this race, it puts us in a really strong position to take out the sprint. And we need it so desperately. So, 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 so desperately. We've got one hurdle in front of that first though, which is Obvious Gourmet's debut. For those that don't know this horse, she's a super, super dirt broodmare and a very, very strong dirt racehorse. She's very easy to ride. She can break records by clicking her heels together. It's just amazing. And she's a front runner, so she crosses well with most of the horses that we want to breed together down the line. Because she has that wonderful front runner ability. So she can do a little bit of work, hold out the front. I've grabbed hold. Your speed's still dropping yet. You're in the sadness? Oh, wait, why are you sad? No need to be sad. Yeah, but we're gonna need that front runner ability to pop. And then we should be in a really good position to finish off this race strong. There you go. That's awesome. Now we're probably just going to go late. That's probably the game plan. Go late, out sprint them, save as much stamina as we can. Right, time to go. I'm not going to use the whip just yet because we're still on a corner. Now we're going to go. Long left to run. It is becoming a little bit of a tooth and nail fight. Here comes the favourite. Just on the wire. Oh, I think we just got pipped. Yeah, but look at that. We got pipped. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought maybe we could just sneak it. But the nose. Spurt was perfect. Ah, because we lost our rival, of course. Second pick today, who's the favourite? A horse called Glorious Society. Oh, we are winning this. Oh, we are winning this. There is no question. Over a mile? And a horse has 75 speed against our girl. No way. Well, that's probably a bit too bad at the start, but it might work out for us actually. Because now we don't have to do too much grabbing and pulling at her at the gate. I mean, if we can win this one, it puts us in a very strong position to take out the sprint. Because I don't see them entering. Um, far reason in the China mile and that would be the next race we need to desperately win later no, there's no reason why she can't win it I feel like she should win this here today if we get a gap like there's still nine and ten wide we just got to look for the right cap we can't go too early, but we can't go too late. If they get a gap on us, we might be in a bit of trouble. Okay. Oh, we're in a really bad situation. Never mind, we found the gap. Here comes the speed. Stretch burst gonna kick and she's done it. Get on the whip. <laughs> we have our first Gallup World Series victory with an original horse. Oh, that was so nerve wracking when we got stuck there. I was like, oh, please open up, please open up. And she did it. Look at her go. 
She's such a beautiful horse. Look at that. Just a breath of fresh air. I can breathe. I'm so excited. Like you guys have no idea how much that means to me. Let's see, as you can see here, I don't see them running far midnight in the China Mile, which is the last race, and we have plenty of time. Very good, I shall begin to record. Oh, about time you're happy, Cook. So, um, we're probably going to call the episode there. It's been an hour. I don't really, I'm losing my voice. My throat's a bit dry and that type of thing, but we <sighs> can't believe we finally won one. I can't even find her. Where is she? There she is. I can't see because she's a double S rank. I'm getting confused. Ah, oh, but she did it. She won a huge race. Like her performance has been huge. But as you can see here, this is where we're at. And she's going to be in the blue. So we're going to book that. We know that's the task. Just go through and make sure none of these horses are double booked. Lovely. As for, uh, we just do I need a horse for that race. I'm just going to go through now and talk to you guys while I'm booking them all. Um, let me know what you thought of the episode. I thought we did pretty well. You know what? Red Lady. We, we said we're finally happy with one, but no, you can have another chance at one. Grim the Prince, you're good. You're booked. You're booked. You're still going later on down the track. You're booked. You're booked. You're booked. You're booked. Hmm. Sure, why not? You're booked. And you want to be in the crown? Maybe. We'll see. But that's going to do it. We're going to save. We made so much progress. <sighs> one, one race left. Just one race left, you know. And then we can retire more horses. But as always, if you like the video, please leave a like. Leave a comment. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.